Right, hello folks. So, totally different video, and I've been wanting to do this for absolutely ages, but a uh, nice gentleman came around yesterday to get one of my night vision kits. Uh, Daniel, this is, uh, I did say I'd get around to doing this, so here we go. So, a lot of people have rabbit, and there's lots of other ways, but I've had a, a kind of cooking experiment that went on years ago. And essentially, it's doing rabbit tikka. Uh, nothing too fancy but you know, the principles for those who've never done this before so we've got Bugs Bunny in here it's been sat in water for approximately 12 hours now uh, just salt water to get the gamey taste away it's not too difficult just stick it in there that's just been out and about so all it is take out hopefully you can see that Pour out all the water, let that drain away, and then put fresh in. Now this is a relatively large rabbit. Some of the ones that I've shot before have been um, smaller. Uh, I was basically told to get rid of them, but anyway, so we do. As crazy as that, in fact, let's chuck some more salt in. There we go. And all we do, whack that on, plug it in, and we'll have that cooking for approximately four hours with it being a slow cooker. Help if I plug the right switch in. <laughs> oh god, I'd starve to death really. But anyway, so that's now on, hopefully. Oh, that's a bit crap. It doesn't seem to be coming on. I'll worry about it in that in a bit. Uh, so, generally, what I'll let, let that do is kind of slowly boil through. Uh, well, it comes up to a slow simmer, really. And generally what will happen is the meat will fall off. So what we'll do is we'll come back to that once it's done. Uh, you can do this in a larger pan, cooking it on a normal hob and do it within an hour um, or a little bit more uh, on a full boil. Uh, but this I find is the best way for me to do this. But let's see how this goes and uh, yeah, come back later. So here we go. So uh, Bugs is essentially done and ready for pulling to bits so still going to leave this on essentially what we're going to do is just going to take off the meat and you can, you can use your fingers but I'll use a fork because it's hot at the moment If anyone knows a quicker way of doing this, let me know. Just gonna take this all off the saddle. It smells good. Oops. You can tell I'm not a butcher by trade. One thing with rabbit, and I kind of found out the hard way. Oops. It's, rabbit can be quite tough. And there you go, nice bit of chunky meat there. But also, you notice that there's no fat to this. Very. Well, say no fat. I just didn't like the look of that, so I just. Oh, 
what I was saying. Um, yeah, that if you don't cook rabbit long enough, it's very, very tough. And because of that, people then get tend to put a bit of hot off by it. What I like is because. Because it has a different flavour. I mean, ev I'm saying everyone, pretty much everyone's had chicken at least once in their life. Ah, it's hot, it's hot, 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 hot. <laughs> yes, it is hot. So, and obviously, chicken's chicken. And everyone eat, who eats, eats another type of meat generally says, oh, it tastes like chicken. Uh, I've had frog legs, they taste like chicken. A lot of people are probably thinking, oh, this is a load of faffing around for just a rabbit, but yes, I've only done one, but that's their bloody knife. <laughs> Do it properly. See this, and this is a credit to a gentleman called Mark Gilchrist, I think his name. Um, he's got a YouTube channel about doing gaming stuff, uh, which I liked ages ago. But in fact, it wasn't until we watched his video, understood more about rabbit preparation and cooking. Anyway, but if you take all this, you can take it all off and. Freeze it if you wish. Because my dearest wife does not like a rabbit, she won't be having any of this. So there you go. So that's that's nothing else. Mm. Oh yeah, get in my belly. Right. So that's that for now. And simply, oops, come through a cloth. No idea. So that's that's enough. I mean, that's going to be for me. in the oven for about an hour. Now that seems excessive but trust me it'll work a treat. Right we'll be back. Right so here we go the piece de la resistance or the lapin la grande something or other. <laughs> there you go there's my limited French. So to, to sort out this private corner we need the rice Big old and delicate. In fact, let's just chuck it all on. That's 
button. Right, hopefully I'll not get myself burnt whilst doing this. There you go, nice and bubbling. Lovely and jubbly. Now, it's difficult to describe on how, how good this is gonna taste because you can't taste food on a YouTube video. Didn't everyone tell you that? So, There you have it, rabbit tikka, not too difficult. Some people will say it takes longer than chicken, yeah, fair dues, but I can assure you the taste in my mind is so much better. Let's get a bit more sauce on there. And there you have it, all done, rabbit tikka. Ta-da!